Okay, so I mentioned in my previous RetroPi video how I thought the performance maybe could be better with the standalone PSP emulator. So I'm still using the Pi Zero 2W, I'm still using my four USB on the go hub. Uh, this is my Xbox controller. Uh, so let's switch into screen capture because I'm using Raspberry Pi OS Buster. So to install the standalone PSP emulator, I use PyKiss, uh, which is uh, an amazing app. It's by Jose and uh, he's been making this for a while and he keeps adding various things to it. If you go into the emulation section, uh, there are all sorts of things in here. I also installed uh, the PlayStation 1 Duck Station emulator, although I haven't tried it yet. Uh, PPSSPP, which I'm going to do in this video. I also installed Redream, but unfortunately it was having a graphics issue and wouldn't launch. It works brilliant on the Pi 4. Um, but uh, yeah, PPSSPP. If you want to install anything from this, you literally just click on it from the list. So you can see it says proceed. If you go ahead with it, it would install. So I'm going to close that down because I'm not going to do that for the purpose of this video. And just click on the Raspberry. Actually, before I do that, let's show you the overclock settings. So this is uh, similar to what I've been using in previous videos on the Pi Zero 2W. Uh, the overclock is 1200, I think. Yeah, over voltage of four and arm frequency is 1200. Now I've been using this without a fan. I'm using my Pi Zero with the fan at the moment because I plan to take it a bit higher. Probably not much higher, but a bit higher. And this is great news for people who are using this in portable machines. To get such good PSP performance is amazing, right? So games. PPSSPP. So all my ROMs are on this little micro SD in a USB adapter. Uh, you can put them on the SD card, and the SD card in this one is 128 gig anyway, uh, but this is one I just already had a load of PSP ROMs on and various other ROMs, so I thought I'd use that on it. Okay, so GTA wasn't running well in RetroPie yesterday, so that's the reason that I started this, but I've got, I've got some much better results on some of the other games. Uh, so we're going to settings, just to show you what settings I'm using. So buffered rendering, uh, this makes a huge difference, but quite a few games don't allow you to use skip buffer effects, and GTA is one of them, it just goes to a black screen. And if I just scroll down through, uh, obviously you can pause this to see what settings I've got. Uh, so you can only use one times PSP on rendering resolution on the Pi Zero 2W. If you go to two times, the picture looks great, but it doesn't work very well. So hardware transform, vertex cache, lazy texture caching. I basically went through all the settings and played around with it and uh, tried whatever worked the best. I kept going back and forward through the game. And this seems to be the best combination for me. I did kind of have, under system, uh, this one here, uh, I found that host maybe was better. I wasn't sure between the two, but I'm going to leave it on fast. So let's launch the game. And I've got a save state on here, so I can load and get straight back into the game without going through the menus. There you go. So if I move around, you can see 15 FPS, which is double what I was getting with RetroPie. It doesn't necessarily feel like 15. Uh, the actual gameplay feels all right. It doesn't feel that choppy, doesn't feel that laggy. And it's also not, some, sometimes uh, the game was looking very, very sort of blurry and things like that, but this seems to be working well. Let's do a, oh, let's do a bit of a jump. Just to show it running. It doesn't make this because I'm on too slow a vehicle, but if I go sideways, I might be able to not crash. Here we go, can we stay on? I skid at the bottom. Yeah, not bad. Now let's get into the town a bit and have a look. But it is it is definitely playable. Oh, you can't get in the town that way. Oh, I can this way though. No, I can't. <laughs> okay. But even when there's more going on, it still seems to cope with it. Oh, am I going to get through there? Yeah, pretty much. There you go. Let's get where there's some more cars, people, and things like that. And it, it is playable. Uh, it, after changing all these settings, it is definitely playable. Not the best, but playable. But other things I can try on this is lowering the desktop resolution and also windowing it. So let's see if that works. I don't know if my screen capture will cut out if I do that. So settings. So full screen, if I turn that off, will it let me go slightly smaller? I don't think it will actually. No, it doesn't look like it makes a difference. Go back into the game. 
I had to put a window on it, but it hasn't really helped. I thought that might have done. Right, the other thing I could try is dropping it down to 640 by 480. Uh, although this does, this all, oh no, it's a bit more slow down there. And you can see that I've got that warning on there now. So full screen is the way to go. Uh, and the other thing I could do is lower that resolution, but I'm not sure if this is gonna help. So exit, oh, and just to show you where my games are located. Uh, so I've got this, uh, here we go. I always find it hard to find a USB stick on PPSSPP. Uh, so it's in media, Pi, 128 gig is my USB stick and the ROMs are in there, it's my RetroPie ROMs. And you can see there's plenty of PSP Go games in here but also plenty of uh, full PSP games in here as well. So let's exit out of that and just drop the resolution down to 640 by 480 on the desktop. I'm not sure if my screen capture will stop. So 640 by 480, my icons are going to go a bit crazy. Okay, so let's launch it again. PPSSPP. Hopefully it scales down. It looks like it's going to. Oh, crikey. Uh, so GTA. And let's go straight into that save state that I had before. 16 FPS. It does feel smooth compared to what I've had. Yeah, I definitely say that's playable. And again, this is on a Pi Zero, a $15 computer. Let's just get where there's a bit more traffic around here somewhere, oh, was that a wall? Oh, <laughs> it wasn't a wall, but that was a lamppost. There you go, so even when there's a bit more going on, whoa, it's still it's still coping with it, it's still holding the 15 frames per second, and I would say it's still playable. Right, so let's try a few more things. Okay, so let's try a bit of OutRun 2006. Now, the setting I'm on at the moment is buffered rendering. Okay, which is what GTA was on. And if I go into the save uh, that I've got, which is right at the start of the game. Okay, so it looks pretty rough. But if we go back into settings and change this to skip buffer effects and go back in, it looks completely different and actually performs pretty well as well. Let me just turn that down a bit. And even when the other cars are there, it actually performs pretty well. So if I was to brake, oh, let's do a bit, a bit better slide when we get up to the other cars. Oh, I don't need it yet. Got a bit of crackling I didn't have before. This corner's probably going to need a slide. And I think, overall, I'm really impressed with how much better that looks. And it is nice and smooth. It's quite hard to come out of one of those slides. But yeah, so the audio is a bit funny. I probably need to play around with that a bit more. But I was really impressed with how much that improved. I hadn't realised how much of a difference that would make. And you can see I've got an error up, but it doesn't feel like it's struggling too much. You can see the FPS being quite fast. It's a super fast game. And I'm not very good at it. But yeah, overall, I was super impressed with that. Let's just try and get one more power slide somewhere. There we go. It's a really good game to play. Or oh, nearly caught my rival up. Anyway, let's quit out of that and just show you a few others that, that I was impressed with as well. So exit the menu. So Little Big Planet. Oh, I tried this before and um, when you get further on in the game it definitely struggles, but it didn't struggle yesterday and I played this for quite a while. In fact, I keep forgetting I've got a load state. Did I do save state? Yes, I did. So again, this seemed to work better with this. Uh, it certainly looked a lot better. What do I have to do? Use the windward across the canyon. Right, okay. Let's give that a try. So even when there's more things going on, it doesn't seem to struggle in the same way anymore. Oh, there we go. 
What's that? Get in the costume shack for a new set of strides. So as you can see, lots of things going on, but it doesn't seem to be struggling anymore. Oh, doesn't seem to be struggling anymore. So let's try something else. And you can see all the menus. I'm not cutting bits out, which I would normally cut out on the old Zero. Uh, all the menus are nice and fast. Uh, so Burnout is another car racing game. And also definitely bene benefited from this setting. And again, did I have a load state? I think I did. It makes a big difference. So not quite as smooth as Outrun, um, but, uh, but still certainly better than I was expecting. And this is a, another real full-on frantic game. Oh, <laughs> not great. So uh, back to the menu, and what else have we got? I couldn't, get, I couldn't get the controls working right on the Star Wars one. I'll go back in it, um, but it, it had weird controls. And I don't know if I even had a load state. No, I haven't got a load state on this one because I didn't really get anywhere because I couldn't find a fire button, which is weird because all the other controls seem to be mapped fine. Now, I haven't tried this with this setting on, uh, but it seems to be that most games seem to work with it. So we've got look around, but I, I couldn't find a fire button. So I can, you can see the uh, the wookie there, that, which I would normally be able to shoot, but I, I haven't got a fire button, so I can just follow it around. Wookie warrior. Oh, is he on my side? Yes, of course he is. Anyway, not perfect, um, but uh, but again, looking pretty good. Well, what happens if I turn that effect off? So. Buffered rendering. Yeah, see again, we've got quite a bit of slowdown in that mode. So let's turn that back on. Oh, not that one. Okay, so God of War is known as being one of the worst games uh, for emulation on the PSP just because it's such a full on game and the effects and the graphics and everything are so advanced. Uh, if you put this on two times or three times PSP, it, it looks incredible. So, but it has very long cutscenes, so I've saved my state. And I haven't tried this on this saying, ah, okay. Yes, I have. Uh, so, it's really slow, you can see 10, 13 frames a second, but you can see how detailed all the animation is and everything. Let me just turn off my speaker because there's no point in having that audio on. So definitely suffers on that, and even the overclock isn't gonna, any uh, overclocking anymore isn't gonna help that. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it is just too slow. But it does work pretty well on a Pi 4, so if you're interested in playing this, then a Pi 4 is definitely a better platform for this. But overall, I was pretty surprised at how well PSP runs on this. Now, that's pretty much all the PSP games I've got. The full PSP games, I think. It was harder to see in this mode. Oh, Gran Turismo? I haven't tried that yet. This will be interesting to see if it works with this faster mode. It looks decent. Oh, the audio is not good. Okay, well, probably as expected. Really bad performance on this. Let's just try settings and let's turn that over to buffered rendering to see if it'll make the difference. Yeah, it's not made any better. The graphics definitely look worse. Okay, so it's a no for Gran Turismo as well. I think you'll agree that it just is way better performance than we'd expect to come from a Pi Zero 2W, a $15 mini computer just incredible. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.